Hi, my name is Philip Connard. I work as a researcher in the Department of Conversion Technologies at the University of Hohenheim. The research work in the Department of Conversion Technologies is specifically in the field of thermochemical conversion of biomass. The projects undertaken in this department generally occurs on hydrothermal carbonization and pyrolysis processes. Hydrochar is the main solid product which can be obtained from hydrothermal carbonization, abbreviated as HTC, by using biomass. Hydrochar has a similar chemical composition and similar properties like fossil-based fuels like lignite and black coal. The obtained product is more hydrophobic than the used feedstock, meaning less water is contained in the hydrochar. Therefore, it can be easily dewatered by simply pressing and used as an alternative fuel for heat generation. But how do we obtain a hydrochar? In HTC, biomass is carbonized using only water. The medium acts as both solvent and reaction partner. The biomass undergoes a series of reactions under elevated temperatures and pressures, more specifically up to 250 degrees Celsius and 50 bars. How does HTC contribute to a circular bioeconomy? Since bio-based feedstocks such as biomasses are commonly used, HTC is a sustainable carbon sequestration process because carbon in the form of carbon dioxide is captured in the char-like material. The utilization of the hydrothermal processes is also contributing to new nutrient recycling techniques and using agricultural waste and residual streams. After HTC of digestate, phosphorus in the form of phosphates and nitrogen in the form of ammonium can be easily recovered. By adding magnesium, we obtain a solid fertilizer called struvite, which is an ideal replacement of conventional phosphate fertilizers.